one today we're talking about zoom into the lens effects. But before that, and draw. Before we jump into the tutorial, for those who are new here, I do cinematography and photography. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's jump into the first step. I already have a clip shot with a gimbal, pushing in and pull out several times until I get the best results. I think the first shot was perfect. Delete the first and the last part. Then click right, choose speed and duration, reverse the clip. So with that clip selected, head over to the opacity, click ellipse mask preset, change the scale and position to cover the pop of your lens. When you're done, make sure to invert the mask. You can change the scale and position on every frame, but it's not easy. But if you are lazy like me, I'll for you a quick tips. All you need to do is to click this button. It will make the job for you. Go back to the mask pad and increase the feather. Then with that clip selected, animate the mask expansion and, and go back to the beginning of the mask and decrease the number of the mask expansion until the mask disappears. So we'll put the clip right on top of the hyperlapse, click NAS again and cut the last frame. Then go to the speed and type 0. Animate the scale and position, go a few frames and zoom until the lens covers the screen. Cut and delete the last pause and that's it. To make it perfect, now I'm gonna do some speed ramping. Make sure you synchronize the beginning of the mask with the beginning of the hyperlapse. Go to the last frame and cut the bottom clip. And animate the scale and position and go to the beginning and make it smaller. Make sure to play with the last keyframes to make it perfect. And here is the final edit. That's it for me. I hope you like it. See you in the next one.